Now that we've looked at Ohm's law with simple circuits, only one resistor, and we've also looked at circuits that have multiple resistors, just only one type uh, of situation, if you will, one type of circuit series or parallel, let's look at circuits that have a mixture of series and parallel resistors or uh, items in it. A few thoughts for you before we get started, kind of rules of thumb. There aren't, there aren't exactly rules for uh, being able to solve these circuits. In all of them, you're going to end up wanting to add all the way down into one equivalent resistance, just like in our series and parallel video. Um, but how to do that changes depending upon the circuit. So rules of thumb, only add one type of resistor at a time. Don't try to add both parallel and series together at the same time in one equation. Add just parallel or just series. Look for the most obvious ones, oftentimes in the furthest away. For example, in this circuit over here, these two resistors are in parallel. Those are the two most obvious. You might say, hey, look, these two guys seem to be in series, but they're not necessarily. Series means the current is the same through both resistors, uh, but it's not. Notice the current comes out of the battery, and then some of it goes to the 20, and some of it goes to the 25, meaning that the 15 is not in series with the, with the 20. It's actually in series with a combination of the 20 and the 25. Start with the most obvious, um, and, all, and as you go through, add the most obvious. Redraw the circuit for each individual step. That might feel very cumbersome, but it's actually going to make your life so much easier and prevent very simple mistakes. And continue to redraw the circuit step by step by step until you're left all the way down with one resistor. So let's do this example problem over here. Calculate the equivalent resistance of this circuit is step number one. And then after we get all the way down, then let's use that equivalent circuit, one resistor with the battery, to determine the current that the battery produces. So I'm going to start out looking at this circuit and deciding what are the two most obvious resistors, or, or more than two obvious resistors, just one type, that we can add. And the answer is this is a classic parallel right here. So let's add those first. So notice how I redrew my circuit. I started out with this one, and then I drew it to where these two resistors get combined into only one resistor now. It's like you smash the 25 into the 20, and I need to calculate what its total resistance or equivalent resistance is. Since these two are in parallel, I'll use my parallel equation, and now I need to work the math just like I did in the previous lesson down to solve for RT. And since these two resistors were in parallel, I end up with a total resistance of 11.1 ohms for that combination of the resistors. Now, I'm not done. I only combine these two in parallel. Remember, I can, only I can only combine one type of resistor at a time. That's why I couldn't combine the series in there yet. So I stuffed these two quite obvious classic parallels together, kind of the furthest away from the battery is the most common for the most obvious there. Uh, so I stuffed them together, and now I look at this new circuit that I have, that I have a nine volt battery, 15 ohm resistor, an 11.1 .1 repeating ohm resistor. I haven't rounded for sig figs yet because I'm not at the very end of my problem. These two are in classic series. So now I'm going to redraw my circuit and I'm going to combine these two into a classic, in classic series. Now for series, we just simply add the two resistors. So I'm going to add my 15 and my 11 here to come out with my uh, total resistance. And of course, I, of course, I turn out with 17 ohms here as my, as my final equivalent resistance. I rounded for sig figs, it was 17.1 repeating, but notice two sig figs, two, 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 so I rounded to two sig figs there, and I have my equivalent resistance answer number one, 17 ohms. Now number two, determine the current that the battery produces. Now to do that, to actually be able to solve for what current comes out of this battery to flow around the circuit, I equals question mark here. That's the exact same current that comes out over here as well. I equals question mark and also there, right? I, I'm looking for, it's the same number, same current that's coming out of the battery. Now after it starts to go through the parallel resistors over here, things start to divide up and I might not be able to do the calculation even though it's the same current that goes through both of those. But it becomes very, very easy whenever you add your circuit all the way down to a single resistor. You get the equivalent resistance, adding down to an equivalent circuit, one resistor. Now, I can just use Ohm's law, V equals IR. So I've substituted in for Ohm's law. Now I just need to work the algebra to get that current, right? I'm going to divide both sides by 17 here, and I end up with I equals 9.0 divided by 17. And truthfully, I should use 17.1 repeating 
here because uh, now I'm using, I'm solving again and I should use the unrounded number for, for my math that I'm uh, doing and then I'll round for sig figs here at the end. And with sig figs I end up with 0.53 amps. All right, let's look at another type of circuit here. Um, you know, if we're looking for the most obvious things, it looks like this kind of line is in parallel with this line over here, but still, that's not the most obvious. The most obvious is that these two resistors are in series, and these two resistors are also in series with one another. Um, so my first step, whenever I'm trying to calculate, number one, the equivalent resistance of the circuit, is I'm gonna go with the most obvious. Now I'm gonna combine two steps into one because they seem fairly obvious. Maybe you don't want to do this, take it a little bit slower, but I'm gonna combine the fives together and the sevens together at the exact same time. Those are in series. So, of course, uh, adding in series just means that I have to add the resistors. That's all that ends up occurring, no, no one over. I'm going from this circuit to that, and I am redrawing each time. That means this has 10 ohms, and over here is 14 ohms for, for that resistor. Now, my next step is I can see that I have two somewhat obvious, well, very obvious, parallel, classic parallel resistors here. The current comes out of the battery and then splits up between those two, no other complications. So I'm going to add these two resistors in parallel. So just going ahead and setting all of that up, I'm redrawing from this circuit down. Notice whenever I do this, I only had two resistors in this circuit here. Now I only have one. I'm at my equivalent resistance circuit. I just simply need to add these two in parallel using this equation, just doing the little bit of algebra. Just a reminder about parallel circuits. Whenever I add, and I'm just using my calculator, 1 over 10 plus 1 over 14, I, I end up getting some decimal number here, right? But this isn't the final answer for uh, equivalent or total resistance. I have to inverse both sides because I have 1 over RT there. I've got to get just RT. So take the inverse of both sides, aka do 1 divided by that number. So I end up with an equivalent resistance of 5.8 ohms whenever I work that, that algebra through two sig figs because once again in this problem it looks like I was given two sig figs and everything that I just, that I just used there. Um, just to address kind of something that a lot of students will try to do, a, a lot of you um, will end up, you'll draw the first circuit, circuit or maybe you don't even want to try to draw the circuit and then you just want to be able to do the math to make it magically happen. I'm telling you right now you're going to make silly mistakes all the time and you're not going to know how you got to something and you end up being very confused and then I as your teacher end up having to walk back to you and say hey you need to go back and you, you need to actually redraw the circuit every time. Whenever you're adding resistors down using this method you're finding the equivalent resistance using this method where you're doing step by step by step um, trying to all add all the way down to one just using the series and parallel rules you've got to redraw the circuit every single time uh, part two says calculate the voltage of the battery because we were told the current coming out now that we're all the way down and we have our equivalent resistance I can once again just simply use Ohm's law to calculate the voltage in the battery we want to know V I is 1.5 amps and now I know the resistance is 5.83 repeating I'm going to use the unrounded number for my math here um, 5.83 repeating ohms which after you know plugging that into the calculator and rounding for sig figs gives me a voltage of 8.8 .8 volts
So I redraw my circuit. Uh, something that I haven't specifically mentioned, but I think you've already picked up on, is every time you redraw the circuit, you're only changing one thing. I'm combining these two resistors, smashing them together into one, if you will, to give me one equivalent resistor, uh, or yeah, one equivalent resistant there. Um, I leave my other factors completely alone, and I make sure that I rewrite them every single time, otherwise I know I'm going to end up making a silly mistake at some point in time. So it's easiest if you literally copy everything back as it was, except for whatever you're ending up adding together. So since these two classic parallel, I use the parallel equation, and now I just need to do my calculator work. So substituting all of that in, you know, I, I add 1 over 15 plus 1 over 12, 0.15, have to take the inverse of both sides to get just what RT is, I turn out with 6.6 .6 repeating. Now, uh, looking at the circuit again, it looks like I have a 2.5, the 6.6 .6 repeating, and this 2.0 ohm resistor all in a classic series. Now in the other circuits, we were only able to add two resistors at a time, and I could do that again. I could smash just two of these together, and then, in, and then redraw, and then smash whatever that ends up being, the 6.6 .6 plus the 2.5 together with my two, or I could recognize that I can follow all the rules of thumb by smashing all three together at the same time. They are in classic series. They're all in the same loop. Plus, it's only one type, series, 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 all together. So let's just combine them all at the same time, these three classic series resistors, into one. Since they're in series, I just simply add the resistors, right? The 2.5 plus the 6.6 .6 here plus the 2.0. Just simply add them all up. RT, whenever you do that, turns out to be 11.16 repeating um, with significant figures here. Looks like, once again, in this problem, I'm kind of setting up this video to always have two sig figs. That is not always the case. Please double check all of your significant figures in every problem equivalent resistance of 11 ohms. That allows me to be able to move on to the next question. Question two, calculate the current in the battery and solve that using Ohm's law. V equals IR with a voltage, it looks like of 6.0. I, what I'm looking for, a resistance of 11.16 repeating ohms. which gives me a current of 0.54 amps after working through that algebra two significant figures. All right, some reminders before you begin to uh, come to class and take on your own practice problems here. Make sure that you redraw the circuit every single time. That is a common thing that students try not to do. They, it's like they don't want to mark up their paper or they think it takes them too long. It will take you longer because you're going to make mistakes if you don't redraw the circuit every single time. Um, also, uh, make sure that you're adding the ones that are the most obvious. Generally, those are the ones furthest away in the circuit, like in this problem, the two parallels were the most obvious here to start out with. Then we had them all in series. Uh, and then add all the way down to your equivalent resistance. Once you're there, you can solve anything for voltage or current using Ohm's Law.